G'day guys, Michael here from Mad RC. I've been getting uh, quite a few questions uh, that makes me think that maybe the other video I had for the setup just needs a little bit more detail about uh, once you've set it up, plugged it in, uh, what are the things to look for. So if you haven't checked out the install, check out that video first. Uh, but if you if you have if it's installed and you want to check a few things, hopefully this should cover a few details. So what I've got is I've got my transmitter switched on. That's bound up. I've set the switch for the three positions in the three modes. Now I've got a couple of videos on that. If you have a Tyrannus or a Turnigy 9X, check those ones out. What I'm going to do now is show you the setup. Uh, once you plug the battery in, so of course transmitter is on, throttle cut is off to make sure the motor is not going to run, and the battery is plugged in. So the first thing you'll notice is the light here on the GPS is solid blue. That will mean that it hasn't got a GPS link yet. The light on the unit will flash red. That means it's on, it has power. And the default mode, no matter where the switch is set, will mean that it's going to stabilize. So as you move, you should see the surfaces compensate. What we're waiting for is a flashing blue light here on the GPS to make sure that we've got a lock on all of the satellites. Now that we've got a flashing blue light, uh, the, the home position can be set, which is the small button right here in the corner. So here's the key, as long as this light's flashing and this light's flashing, Press and hold until the red light's solid. There it is solid, I can let it go. It's recording the GPS coordinates now onto the unit, and now you're ready to go. Okay, with the unit now pulled up, just to show you what happens with each of the modes to test them here on the bench. Remember, we've got a blue light flashing, red light flashing. Stabilizer is currently off and you can move that around with no change I have quite low settings here's another thing to, to check I have quite low settings to start out with on the elevator and aileron potentiometers which means it's closest to the center point if we put that into stabilize mode here on my switch on. we'll notice that rotating on the axis has an opposite effect on the elevator surface and tilting forwards and backwards we have an opposite effect out here on the elevator so ailerons and elevator The thing you'll notice is that there's no yaw control in stabilized mode. So if you rotate left and right, there shouldn't be any behavioral difference. But this is good because in return to home mode, you'll still get the ailerons compensating and the elevator compensating. But what you will notice is that Imagine if the plane is flying off in the other direction. As you rotate and change directions of the plane, the surfaces will jump from one extreme to the other. Of course, this is testing on the bench. So if you're heading off in this direction, the other one will turn it around. If you're heading in the other direction, it will try and turn back the other way. So that's how I bench test.
Uh, if you've got any questions, please post them as comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.